Hello lovebirds, Tanya TKO here. And today is Woman to Woman Wednesday. And um, as you know, today is the day that we talk, we just have some girl talk amongst ourselves where we talk about topics from a woman to a woman, I guess hence woman to woman. And you know, things that you either write in on or things that I feel that we really need to discuss in some girl talk. Today I was going to talk about how to attract a man and um, after I let it sit inside my spirit for a moment, I decided to do a different video and I wanted to talk about how to choose a man. And um, I'm feeling very, very mellow today. So, um, so there will be, I won't be, I won't holler at you all today, but we are definitely making some very interesting choices, you know. As you know, I do. I make these videos because my mother passed away when I was a teenager, and a lot of the things about dating and relating, and about myself and self-esteem, I had to learn the hard way. And as you know, my book is. Um, I have a treat for you all. You know my book, Lessons from a Motherless Child: Ten Most Crucial Secrets About Love, Sex, and Self-Esteem. I learned the hard way, so you don't have to. My book is still being written, but the treat that I have for you all is that today's video. I felt that it was important to expound upon each one of these areas in fuller detail. So underneath the video, there's going to be a link to the mailing list for my book. Um, join the mailing list for the book, and I will. I will email you instructions on how to get the full, the full ebook or the full written out expounded upon version of today's video. You know, it took me a long time in my life to understand the phrase that um, that women are the ones who choose, because you know it's men who propose and they're the ones who actually get down on one knee and decide that they'd like to move towards holy matrimony. But you know there are so many things that happen before that that are the woman's choice. So you know I felt I felt disempowered for the longest time because I was like, what do you mean we choose, we choose, but it's the men who have to pursue and it's the men who have to you know do this, that, and the other. And you know what I did a diagram the other day. For, um, for, for Man Day, which happens every Monday. And so if there are any men watching this video, I need you to tune out of the video right now. This is just for us girls. And tune out and come to my website right here, which is tanyatko.com, and submit your questions for Man Day. Some of you guys don't like the topics that we talk about on Man Day, but then you're not submitting other topics. So. I need you to submit because if there's something that you want to know from a woman's point of view, let's let's talk about it. You know, the last topic was why I don't date broke men, and unfortunately, that was something that evolved out of you know information that your brothers were sending me about why they don't feel they should pay for dates. Oh, nonetheless, back to the ladies. <laughs> Back to the ladies. You know, I did this diagram during Man Day the other day, and we talked about reproductive success for a man, which is, you know, spreading for far and wide. But for us ladies, reproductive success is narrowing down our choices and our options. And, you know, that's part of the reason that I wanted to talk about how to attract a man, because, you know, here we are, that's the little egg, and that's the woman, and these are the men, and the different things that we filter in to getting the best mate for us. You know, reproductive success for us because we only carry one child at a time is to be able to find the best for that one child. And um and so I take today's topic very seriously and that's why I'm writing the um that's why I'm writing out the ebook for you all. Listen, let's talk. I'm gonna get the board out in a second. I realize that the way that we choose is here. You know, because there will be there will be a lot of men who approach you, but ultimately, who is it that you decide to give access to your ovum? And you know what? I wasn't planning on talking about this, but this is something very painful. God, it hurts so much to even think about it. You know, ladies, honeys, we have to make better choices. We do. You know, I get contacted, and some of you ladies battle me. <laughs> You're battling me in the comments of my video. I did the video on um, not dating a man's potential, but to date the actual. And you know what? Oh my God. Oh God. Some of us are making some bad bets. 
we're making some bad bets because we are not actually happy with the person that we let into our life, into our love, and into our loins. We like that life, love, and loins. Loins meaning here we let into our body. We're not happy with them as they are. And we take this gamble on a human being that has not demonstrated his ability to um, to do better or be better. We take these gambles hoping that the stuff that he's talking about will one day come to fruition. And, oh, honey, listen, honey, what's ended up happening is, you know, we're getting into these situations where we, because we're so creative, and we are banking on them becoming a different person, and maybe we're not even, we're not even thinking that we can get better or do better, and we end up compromising ourselves and our future. You know, it's like, and I had a conversation with a, a gentleman about this because you know I interview men and I interview women behind the scenes. I do a lot of interviews to kind of get to the heart and the crux of, of the issues of what's going on out there today. And it was this one man. Um, he's ready to settle down and he doesn't have children. And he started pontificating with me why he feels that there are so many single mothers out there. And he says, according to him, he feels that there are so many single mothers because the women don't know that one day he will come. So they kind of give up hope somewhere in between and they settle. They settle for what it is that they have at that moment, not knowing that there could be better for them up ahead and this is where we get into the whole we choose and what I don't I don't want you to get hemmed up and hampered and hammered down ladies keep yourself fresh and free and light and lovely and keep yourself unencumbered if you know what I mean keep yourself unencumbered because here we are you know and it's so sad because you come into you come into a situation right where you didn't do this, you didn't do this filtration process. So let's say you stopped here somewhere in the middle and you have your eggs and then you have one, two, or more children by somebody that didn't that wasn't fully scrutinized, right? And then by the time you do start scrutinizing and you do start looking for better, you are you are in in you have children in tow. You are now primary and sole caregiver to other men's children and then the and then you come as a full package in which now the new man has to put has to now take care of the or or ensure the future survival of another man's offspring you know in the animal kingdom you ever have you ever heard of infanticide in the animal kingdom the like the new lion that comes into the pride he snuffs out all the children of the um of the of the of the of the alpha male who went down snuffs them out and so oh ladies listen i just i want us to make better choices so here i'm doing this video so come on let's talk i'm gonna get the board i'm gonna get the board okay here we go <coughs> And this is what this is what I'm going this is what I'm going to talk about in the in the ebook. I'm going into full depth of all of this. Okay, so here we go. How to choose a man. Let's get closer. Can you see that? Here we go. How about right there? Okay. There we go. How to choose a man. We're gonna talk about the six ways, and then I'm gonna add a bonus. So here we go. Number six. Okay. Growing. Well, I should, uh, that should be growth, right? Is this man committed to becoming a better person? Has he dedicated the time or at least have set the intention and is actively in the process of making sure that he stays on top of self-development, self-discovery, becoming the best that he can be? Is he committed to the process of growth? Is he committed to growth? That's number six. Number five on the list is, oh God, this is so important. I'm sorry, this just brings me so much pain. <sighs> Direction. And this, oh, ladies, 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 I need you to understand this. 
in ways that you may not even really fully understand how much I need you to understand this. Listen. Oh, God. You know, when I... Hi, yeah, yeah, let me move this over. Let me move this over because the, ca the camera gets so dark when the, when the board is there. You know, this is what I want to... This is why I'm... This is why the ebook is expounding upon all of this. You know, when I get the ladies who are coming attacking me about how they want to date men who don't have any money... <laughs> Okay, you know what? Everything is conditional. And listen, oh, I want you to do whatever it is that you choose to do ultimately. But hear this and understand this, that a man who is not clear on his direction and where he's going in life is exponentially, exp it's, listen, his chances of wanting to settle down are exponentially decreased and this is why I'm talking about choice because we listen we have we have a plethora of men who will come to us but who it is that we let inside is 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 is, is what matters so when you let a person into your life into your love and into your loins who is not clear on the direction that he's going in in his life he's less likely to settle down meanwhile you could be spending that time of your youth because trust and believe when it comes time for him to want to settle down he's going to want to ensure he's going to want to make sure that his offspring has the greatest chance for or likely likelihood for success of survival and you know what's going to happen he's going to look for a woman who is compatible with him who is young enough to have children so while you're wasting your years in the middle of that siphoning process on people who are not together by the time he does get together will he even still really want you it may hurt to hear but will he okay let's keep talking about it let's keep talking about it Direction. Where is he going? Where is he going? Where is he going in life and is he clear on that in terms of his career? Does he know where he's going in terms of his career? Not only that, is he, is he, um, is he, uh, does he accept accountability for where he is in life? Is he in control of his destiny and accepting, or is he blaming other people? Does he blame others for why he's not, oh, you know, it's always somebody else's fault for why he can You know what, I hear so many people. Listen, I hear so many people talking about the economy, how the economy is this, so oh, we don't have jobs, the economy, right? Let me tell you something. A man who is determined will find a way. He doesn't make excuses. He makes moves. I, I'm in New York and I see men standing on the side of the road selling oranges, slices of oranges, selling water bottles to make ends meet. So anybody who's sitting around talking about in this great land of America or any first world country that they don't have a job, that they can't make money, the excuses for why they can't do that. This is why I'm saying we need to look at what a person is doing right now. Look at his track record. If this man, listen, oh man, and then ugh, does he have any savings? Was he ever planning? Is this a man who is a leader? Is he in control of his destiny? Is he, is, 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 does he know where he's going? And are you comfortable following in that direction if nothing changes? Are you willing to accept him as is? Let me write that on the board. As is. No change. Is he all right as is? If he's all right for you the way he is and you're fine having children and going forward with him the way he is right now, by all means, go forth. Go forth. But if you know that your comfort with him is contingent upon him changing, don't do it, honey. Don't do it. There's so many men out there who are ready, but you're wasting your time on people who may be a good time right now. Who may be a good time right now, but they have no future potential or have not demonstrated that they're able to be a leader. Listen, let's go on. Number four. Number four is so important. This is so important. I wish it was higher up in the list, but you know, there's so, there's so many that have to be on the list. So here we go. Oh 
man. Number four is trust. And I wasn't sure how to break this up. So I'm adding it together because these two are, they go hand in hand. Trust and safety. <sighs> Number one, or A, rather, 4A. Can you trust him to be a man? Can you trust him to be the man of the relationship? Can you? And then also, hmm, I, you know what? Some of these are difficult to talk about. They're really difficult to talk about because here we go. I want you to hear this, and I want you to understand what I'm saying. Hear me. Listen. Listen. Can you trust him to be a man? Can you trust him to be the type of man that you need him to be? The, oh, let's keep going forward. Let's keep going forward. Okay, B. Do you see what that says? Life. And this is deep. And it gets prickly. Listen. Can you trust that man with your life? Impeccably? <laughs> Can you trust him with your life? Would you put your life in his hands? And then that's where we come into safety. Do you feel, or even just safe? Do you feel safe with this man? Do you feel safe that you can relax and be a woman? Do you feel safe that you can relax and be a woman? I feel like this pen, can you see this pen? Is it dark, is, is it more dark enough? Here we go, there we go. Do you feel, do you feel that you can relax and be a woman? Do you feel that you can be yourself? Can you be a woman? Can you be yourself? Do you feel safe that you can express your personality and be yourself? Do you? And when we talk about trust and safe, would you trust this man to lead your household? If something happened to you, would you be able to trust him to make the decisions of the household? Could you trust him as a leader? Could you? Is this somebody that you can? Hmm. I'm just gonna put that right there. Leader. We'll talk about more. We'll we'll talk about more of this in the book. Leader. And this is all so important right here. We're gonna go on. And then number three. <coughs> number three is integrity integrity also ethics i want you to put this under here ethics as well as um okay so here we go ethics here we go sorry i got my, my list mixed up for a second all right number one do you know do you know what integrity and ethics are right what he says versus what he does. I need you to just take a look at what he's doing, what he says he's going to do versus what it is that he's really going to do. And this can get as minute as you need it to be. Just pay attention to his actions. If he says he's going to do something, how does he feel about doing it? Because when we talk about putting a person in it, at the head of a household, because believe me, there can only be one man in a relationship, one man. And <laughs> you know what we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about that a little bit more in the ebook. Okay. Says versus does. Can you respect this person? Does he do things that are respectable? Does he act in a respectable way? Does he behave like a person that you can look up to? Hmm? Does he? Can you look up to him? Because ultimately you, if you're, listen, if you're with a man whom you don't respect, that's going to bleed out into the relationship. And if that man does not feel respected, and if he does not feel trusted, it's going to wreak, he's not going to be able to ascend to his full greatness as a man. So rather than getting a man that you know you can't trust someone you don't respect and a person that you wouldn't put your life in their hands, ugh, you know what, just that mere one alone, if you don't feel that you could put your life in their hands, disqualify them. Disqualify. Here we go. Is this a person you can look up to? And does he inspire you? 
Does that man inspire you as a human being? Does he inspire you to want to be better, to do better? Does, 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 does he rev you up as a human being by being in contact with him that you are just happy, gosh, happy to know someone like him as a person, let alone as a man, just somebody that you can really, really respect, really be like, wow, he did that. This is what he's been able to do. This is who he is. Let's go on. Let's go on. Does he inspire you? And then this is number two. Number two. Oh, man. Can you see what that says? It says spiritual. Number two is spiritual. Oh, man. You know what? Hmm. This is, does your man have a connection to, or a clear practice? Does he have a connection to divine? Does he have a connection to spirit? Does he, or is his connection that there is no connection? Remember when we talk about this person being the leader and you haven't instilled your trust in them, life throws a lot of different things at you. And we are more than just human beings. We are we are not humans who have spiritual experiences. We are spirits who are having a human experience. Does this person have any type of knowledge of anything outside of himself? When it comes time to heading the family, you know, ensuring all of your safety, is this a person who draws upon only what it is that he has or will he take the time to step outside of himself and know that there may be more? Or is that not even important to you? I mean, even if it, listen, and if you yourself don't have any type of connection to divine or don't know what it is that you are doing here, I, that's all right. That's all right. Take some time to dig inside and just feel. Just feel. Let's talk. Let's move. Let's move. Because like I said, I didn't, want, I, didn't, I didn't want to talk about that in this video. We'll talk about it in the book. We'll talk about it in the book. Okay. Here we go. Number one. This is number one. But my bonus is my favorite. Um, good fit. <laughs> is he a good fit? I just wanted to say just good. Just good. Let me just put good here. Is he a good fit? Is he a good addition? And does he make your life better for being in it? Does he? Is he a good fit, a good addition to your life, a good addition to your family? Does he make your life better? Does he lift you up? Does or or does having him in your life bring you down, worsen your life, take away your net worth, take away your self-esteem? You guys going in the same direction. You have the similar values and goals. Are you headed in the same direction? So that when he when you start looking at the direction that he's headed in, when he starts talking about being the head of the household, are you guys a good fit? Is this the direction that you want to go in? And do you trust him to get there? Do you? And then my number one, here we go. I mean the bonus. Here's the bonus. And we're going to put the board away to talk about that. And I'm going to show you something in this video. Intuition. This video is for ladies. And you know we have the ladies in the woman's intuition. So I want you to copy all of these down if you need to, but you don't even have to copy them. Just come get the ebook. Get the ebook. We'll talk. It'll all be written down for you in the ebook and expounded upon because some of this needs to go into depth. And this information is some of the information is not for. Well, let's just keep moving forward. I was going to say some of the information is not for everybody. Well, maybe some people may not be ready for it right now. But the information is for it's for everybody. I want you, I want all of you ladies to have it. You know, so let's start talking about intuition, woman's intuition. <sighs> the topic of today's video is how to choose a man. All of that is nice. It's fine and it's dandy. But let's talk about choice, the ultimate choice when it comes to the decisions that we make as women. Let's talk. All right. I need you to tap into your intuition. When we start talking about all of these things, the direction he's going in, the questions that you need to ask, and then I want you to, you know what? A lot of it, you know, we're not tapping into who it is that we are as beings, so let's talk. Okay, 
I need you to tap into your intuition and I need you to make decisions. I need you to take him and I need you to run him through your through your spirit. I need you to run him through your spirit, through your heart and see what it feels like. See what he feels like and I need you to start imagining. We're going to talk about, you know, um, we're going to do a little chart in our minds. All right. So here we go. I'm going to tell you two statements, right? And I want you to feel in your body how it feels when you're telling the truth and then how it feels when you're telling a lie. This is how we're going to tap into our intuition. So first, first sentence is, my name is, and you say your name, well, my name is Tanya. And I see how that feels. You feel your feel your your voice vibrating through your body. Just feel it inside your being as you say your name. My name is, and you say that. And you feel that. And then I'm going to give you another sentence. I want you to say, "I'm the president of the United States." Say that. Okay. And when you tell the lie, I need you to feel where inside your body you feel that. For me, I feel it right here in my abdomen. I've done this with several people at the Self Love Summit and at the, the live conferences that I do. Some people feel it in their shoulders. Some people feel it right here in their heart. Some people feel it at the bottom of their intestines. Some people feel it in the back of their neck. Some people feel it in their head. Some people, just like me, feel it right here. Some people, their, their arms tense up. Some people, they just, they, it just doesn't, it just, oh, they just on their skin, just, doesn't feel right to them. Wherever you feel that in your body, I need you to tap into that area. Get into a quiet space, honey, because we're talking about the rest of your life here. Especially if you're putting yourself in the hands of somebody that you can't trust with your life. Come on now. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about it. Where do you feel that in your body? And I need you to run a few ideas through your mind. I need you to take him and I need you to wiggle him inside your spirit and I need you to think about the idea, think about his energy, concentrate on his energy and feel his energy inside of you and after you put it through your filter, how does it feel? Did you get the feeling when you were telling the truth or did you get the feeling when you were telling a lie? When I'm telling the when 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 it's when it's right, it feels like this. For me, I get a, a zigzag feeling in my I get a zigzag vibration. It doesn't feel right. So when you meet a person, you run it through yourself and you say, Is this my future husband? How does it feel? Does it feel all right? Or do you get that that ping or that stab or that tense or that cold or whatever or that heat whatever it is that you feel when you're telling a lie is this my future husband is this somebody that i can trust is this the direction that i should go in because trust me and believe me this is the direction that we all are going to go in life and sometimes baby sometimes we have to make a few mistakes sometimes there are some lessons that we need to gather to get us to be where we need to be so i don't want you to feel bad if you already have children i don't want you to feel bad if you've been in an abusive relationship before we are all meant to be a certain somebody and some of and these experiences help us get where we need to be so wiggle it in yourself in yourself your subconscious but just know just know don't go in don't go into it thinking okay oh well maybe he's my husband maybe he's not no going in what it is you know because people are like oh Tanya why aren't you married yet oh it's this, this, this that and the other and you know what this has been a reoccurring theme in this life for me because I had my first kiss later than everybody else I shared my virginity later than everybody else and then here I am I'm at this portion of my life and I have not married yet because I know what the vibration of my man feels like and when I run these people through my spirit I know that it is not he I know because I know what he feels like because we're connected I read this quote on you know what we can talk more about this in the book but I read this quote I uh, forget who it's by but I'll put that in the book and the quote stated lovers don't find one another they are in each other all along and trust me there's somebody out there for you and he is already in you and you know his vibration you do and you're going into these situations with bright vibrations that irritate you vibrations that 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 warn you i mean listen how else are we supposed to if we're getting 
heavenly guidance saying this is not right if you don't feel i have people who are like it doesn't feel right I do, but what should i do because they're so concerned with quote unquote trying to keep a man watch my video i'll put the link up here why you can't keep no man we're so concerned with trying to keep a man we need to enter into these relationships because no human being is perfect believe me i'm sitting up here talking and i'm telling you i am not perfect there are things that i need to fine tune about myself <laughs> i do I do. You know, I have a, my mind. One of the things I'll tell you about right now, really quickly, my mind rotates. I think a lot. One of the things that I have to work on as a person is when I am in discussion with another person and they say something that shocks me, I don't speak. I let it rotate inside my mind. And I um, and sometimes I'm rendered silent for quite some time at just thinking about what it is that I've just heard. And I have to work on that as a human being um, because I just, because I have to, I have to be able, even in moments of shock, like when someone says something that shocks me or something that, um, like me, I like to, I like to let it sit, marinate, and then come back and talk about it. But I need to be able to express that when something is bothering, when something jolts me irritates me or something i need to be able to to you know say you know I, or at least express during my silence because i i you know what sometimes i like to just let things it's hot in here i gotta turn up my ac <laughs> sometimes i like to let things just sit on me and then come back and you know and have a discussion about it. that's one of the things that i need to work on also uh, some of you are on my facebook page i'm a woman i go crazy every 28 days i do i do you know i just i go crazy I do. Every 28 days, I'm a nutcase. <laughs> you know, we all have things that we need to work on, and the people that we date are a reflection of us. I did that video, Your Mate is a Reflection of You. And when we date, these people mirror back to us. So even though I know what the vibration of my man feels like, I still date. I date to mirror myself and where it is that I am right now, to fine-tune things about myself and to get better to get better, to um, to just work on these things. Because no human being is perfect, I'm not perfect, and there are still other things that, that I need to work on. So go ahead, I just want, when you go to choose your man, that you run it through yourself first. Run it through and see, and then ask the question, is this the direction that I need to go in? And if it says no, honey, run. And if it says that this is the direction you need to go in, you know, take a look and see. Get your lessons early and get out before you get hurt. <laughs> and you know what? Even there's a sweetness in pain too. So listen, I'm going to let you all get out of here. Remember, below the video, if you, if for any reason, if you don't see the link below the video, which it will be, just come over to my website, which is tanyatko.com, and you'll see the area. It, there's the picture of the book. It's in the upper corner on where to get on the mailing list for the for the ebook. So let's let's go into that. Let's go into full depth. Let's hug. Let's hug. I love you all so much. <laughs> love, 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 love. Love, 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 love. I love you all. Now go out there and love each other. But most importantly, what? Love yourself. And I just got the message to say this. If you are in a relationship right now, I need you to run that man through your spirit. Run him through your spirit and see how does it feel. Is this something that you need to stay in or something that you need to leave? And if you get the message to leave, what should you do? That's right, leave. Leave. Leave it. Stop worrying about what other people, you can't keep no man. Okay, how, the, the, the mere fact that people are not, you know, lambasting men with that statement, oh, that's why you can't keep no woman. So it's like, I mean, listen, the full brunt of having to keep another human being in your life should not be on you so much so that you're living some devastating circumstances just for the mere fact of pleasing other people with your ability to hold on to something that just ain't working right. I ain't told you about some of my grandmother's um, husbands, or I don't know if they were married or what, but some of them people needed to go. They needed to go. And some of our grandmothers stuck by men who were doing all types of craziness. We'll talk more in the ebook. Listen. Let me get out of here. Did I give you my websites and everything? You know my website, tanyatko.com. And I'm on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash tanyatko show. And I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest at, at tanyatko. And of course, you see the area for my Google Plus around here. You can just search for tanyatko on Google Plus. Um, 
I still have a picture where I have my blonde hair. I need to change that, the little blonde cut. So yeah, so look for me. I'm on Google+. Plus. If you come to my page, if you like, there's a, a little icon right here with my little face on it. If you click on that, it'll take you to my YouTube channel. And from there, you can um, click and find my Google Plus channel as well. So just add me all over, and we will definitely be in touch. Get the book and read that. Tell me what you think about that. All right, so Tiny TKO, and I am out. Peace. I love you. Love, 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 love. Peace. <laughs>